Hi, grateful people, you know why I'm here. I'm here to inspire you. This channel is all about inspiration, motivation, and self-improvement. So do me a big favor and do to yourself a big favor. Subscribe to this channel, like this video in the end if you really, really love it, and be a part on something that's going to be amazing. Rise yourself up and subscribe on this channel. My name is Lodi, by the way. So, guys, today we're going to talking about the bleaching syndrome in Africa. This is the following video about oh. the black people complex problem. You know that the bleaching syndrome is the phenomena who touch everyone around the world. It touch uh, some people in it touch some people in India. It touch some people in China. The bleaching syndrome it touch everyone around the world. But the bleaching syndrome and the pro the propaganda about the bleaching syndrome work amazing in Africa. It work amazing. We know guys since the 1919th century, even before, we need to go to the past and thinking about the post-colonialism. And the post-colonialism destroys so many people's mind, destroy billion and billion people mindset, but especially the African people due of the slavery time. So what is mean? We know that since the 19th century, the white people, the European people, were saying about the slave people, the African slave people, that they become much beautiful, they become much smart and much like good looking with them blow. So it means that dark skin color always been considered that something not normal like that color is not normal that color is not not looking beautiful so everywhere everywhere around the world uh, the people with dark skin as has always been stigmatized since a minela a minela a minela so right now what's come out from that is like many 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 people around the world bleach them skin color because of the norm on booty and the norm of booty uh, as i say in my previous video is built out uh, uh, by the people who control the economy is mean like the european the cis the white european people who control the economy in general they control the norm of booty they control the tv they control uh, the magazine they control like advertising and everywhere and since the millionaire we was telling to people who are not white that your color is not normal your color is not beautiful it's not just talking about like black people and blah 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 as i say even in asian even in china the chinese people love to be white they they build the, the bleaching products they, they, they make some bleaching products they, they they sell a lot of bleaching products uh, out to china and in china as well because people like to be white and the, the, the european supremacy promote the white uh, the white skin color since a millionaire and millionaire so that propaganda even touch uh, the chinese people and we know like the Chinese people protect themselves with some umbrella. They don't like the skin. They like to stay white. And we know also in India, in India, there is some particular group. There is some ethnicity uh, people there in India really with a really, really, really like a dark skin. And that people in India are so much like so much stigmatized so much stigmatized that people live in minority in some parts in India. And even when you look at the Bollywood movie uh, uh, from India right now, we can even recognize the booty even promote on that kind of movie because the booty they promote on that kind of movie uh, it's not really the Indian booty, it's not really the booty the people see in the street in India because in India there is so many different tones, so many different like 
ton of people there is so many different color the indian people are like kind of uh we can say like we can talk about the colorism because there is so many color over there the indian woman is not a woman with the blue eyes in general with a straight hair and with a light skin but that kind of stereotype of the woman of the indian woman is this kind of stereotype they sell on Bollywood, on movie, the Indian woman with light skin and blue eyes. And also in, in Latin America, in Latin America, there is so many different type of people in Latin America. There is people with blue eyes, there is people with blonde hair, but mostly in Latin America, people are kind of like white or even like a brown, really, really light brown uh, with a straight hair, uh, with a light skin, of course, but also there is a dark people in Latin America. So talking about colorism, talking about dark skin, dark skin always been stigmatized since the beginning. I mean, since the 19th century, since the post-colonialism, the white supremacy, uh, put the dark skin color, not even just the African people, all the dark skin key color, even the native Indian people down and put them on that like step and saying to the world, saying to guys are not beautiful, your color is not normal. So today talking about bleaching products in Africa is just something guys, is just unbelievable. Some people destroy them own skin some people destroy their own body because of this norm of beauty you're all the european government and and you know the, the, the chinese government as well promote for many 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 years so right now in africa when you're talking about colorism when you're talking about the bleaching products sky is just a disaster it's just a disaster so i'm going to telling you where in africa the Roman, because usually it's, it's a Roman, you know, it's always, it's a Roman, it's the Roman destroy themselves. So I'm going to tell you where in Africa the people use much the bleaching cream, the bleaching products, the bleaching injection and the bleaching uh, medicine to make them skin color much lighter. So we got in Senegal 20% of Senegalese people bleach from skin color. Uh, in South Africa as well, 27% of the, the South African women bleach them skin color. And we got 35% of the Togolese women in Africa bleach them skin color. And in Nigeria, guys, in Nigeria, 59% of the Nigerian women bleach them skin color. So in Africa, the bleaching syndrome is something extremely strong. I think it's a sickness. The bleaching syndrome touch 40% of the people in Africa, guys. It's just unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. And today I'm going to talking about the Senegal uh, because I kind of knew the Senegal. I, I I was hearing that when I was like kind of really 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 little. Obviously, I grew up in Africa, and when I was seven, uh, I moved in Europe. So I stay in Senegal since I born, and since my seven years old. So I, I was here. I was hearing that like it was kind of fashionable for the Senegalese woman to bleach them skin color, and also. Uh, in Senegal and everywhere in Africa, many, 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 many women believe that uh, when you have a light skin, when you're black and you got a light skin, you got better chance to find a job. She's more beautiful, she's more successful, and also she's more prosper in her marriage. She's more like prosper with her husband. So it's just unbelievable, guys. It's just unbelievable. It's just to say like how the propaganda about the white skin is so, so strong and it's still really, really, really deep in the people mindset in Senegal. And in general, people find like when an African woman, she got like a light skin, kind of like a Beyonce, everybody found like she's much beautiful than someone having 
like a dasking tone like uh, for example Naomi Campbell or something like that it's just unbelievable in Africa people love love the man love the African woman with the light skin and I think it's because of the society regarding as well that push the African woman who push uh, the, the American African woman and push the, the Latin American woman to bleach her skin and in Africa I think is the man demanding is the man regarding the man oppression and the man pression on the woman push the woman to lightness her skin color to destroy herself obviously and i think uh in senegal and everywhere in africa in south africa in nigeria in general i think it's something politic as well because uh, of the government or the government over there they just accept this kind yeah. of, of the, the the market game the market game the 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 it's an economic game they accept this kind of uh game and they just promote this kind of uh they just promote this kind of thing we can see uh when you work in the street in senegal uh, when you work in the street in, in nigeria when you work in the street uh in south africa uh in africa in general all the, the appetizing in the street can appetize like uh, to sell a car appetize to sell a dress or makeup and Earring, or I don't know, like uh, whatever this kind of appetizing you never see in general, never ever. We always see an African woman, sometimes she's not even African, she's a mix, but we see a light skinned black woman. So I think people used to, people used to in Senegal, people used to in uh, Nigeria, people used to in South Africa because of the appetizing market, because of the economical market who promote always the African woman with the light skin. That's why I'm saying it's like a politic because they accept this kind of game because guys, the Gucci market is about a trillion and trillion and trillion dollar everywhere in the world. It means like in general, even the, the, the bleaching products, the bleaching creams, the bleaching injection are even not built in Africa, they build that outside in Africa, they build that in China, they build that in Europe, they build that uh, in USA, and after that, they sell that in Africa, they sell that in China, they sell that in US, they sell that in Latin America, in India, they sell that everywhere. So the Gucci market is about trillion and three, is a lot of money, obviously, it's a lot of money. Even uh, that bleaching syndrome destroys the people's mind, destroys destroys the people body since the 19th century that was promoting like the booty and saying to the world you guys are all like kind of like your color is not the good color since the 19th century they say that to people they tell that to people we know that how the, 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 the propaganda was so 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 strong for the black people with the post-colonialism so talking about the bleaching is really really complex guys anyway just to say also in senegal we say like 27 percent of the senegalese women bleach them skin color but there is also 10 percent of them got in general some, some complication because they bleach their skin color i'm going to show you some picture of some people in africa bleach them skin color is just a madness it's just a madness guys it's so so sad people are ready to, to, to kill themselves to destroy themselves just because they want to have like the fairness color like the, 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 the fashionable color they, they, they want to look like much beautiful they think like they're going to look much beautiful on using this high and strongest products with hydroquinone with mercury with so much chemical can damage them skin and give to them a cancer some this kind of products kill them but they still 
using that because they really believe and the brain wash works so amazing so amazing for three it's been more than three centuries all the world have brain wash by the white supremacy about colorism about like a dark skin the dark skin is not good and blah 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 and blah 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 so i'm going to show you some picture guys it's just a madness it's just unbelievable so this is this kind of like picture you can see you can see the, the feet of this woman you can see the, the hand of this woman you can see the people here inside using this chemical high products inside but this kind of people don't have you know like even money you need to have a lot of money to maintain because even in africa i think this kind of product is still is still expensive for most of them but they be ready to do everything to look much beautiful and as i say even sometimes some of them are married and even them husband push them to bleach them skin color because of them on belief because of them them ego because of them vanity because they think like much like good looking to have a wife with the light skin so even the husband in africa push them even the family push the the some roman and some young people to 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 bleach them skin color even if they know that the products most of the product with iron on is extremely strong and is destroy people is destroy people's uh body obviously so it's just a madness guys and this is uh, like another kind of picture as well this is just it's just unbelievable some people still live with this kind of stigma with this kind of with with this kind of result obviously it's just horrible because i don't know some people got maybe the skin much stronger than other people as for some people it's work when they bleach full of the all them body but some people it doesn't work and this is the perfect result of the people burn them skin and using really really high products uh, with the mercury with the hydroquinone it is just a madness guys you know some people still keeping doing that because they think it's booty because they think like most of them they don't really want like to look like white 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 uh they just try because they, again they think like if they for example in senegal some people say if your skin is really 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 dark uh if you feel like you're ugly on using some cream some bleaching cream you're going to be much beautiful if you feel yourself ugly on using the bleaching products you're going to be much beautiful it's just unbelievable and they also believe that uh the african woman with the light skin are more successful because she can find like easy a job she, she can she, she's going to be much like uh in preference of them if she she got like a dark skin so it's just unbelievable the people believe like they can be much successful because of them skin's color it's just unbelievable guys seriously it's just unbelievable so in africa it's just a madness it's just a madness but i think right now it's a responsibility to each other it's a responsibility to the the the, uh, the European government is the European is the responsibility to the U.S. government is the responsibility to the Chinese government. Stops to sell this kind of products for sure, but they they never going to they never 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 going to stop to sell this kind of products because again the booty industry the booty in general is a trillion and trillion and trillion dollar. So they don't care they don't care to destroy people mind since the millennia they don't care to destroy people believe and people body since the millennia and they don't care to sell to the people this kind of disgusting like uh, believe they don't care at all because this is money they make money the, the booty industry is a lot of 
is a lot of money guys so they don't care so now i think it's a responsibility to each other it's a responsibility to the african woman it's a responsibility to the asian woman it's a responsibility to the indian woman to stop to promote this kind of propaganda stop to promote this kind of propaganda is mean like stop to buy this kind of products stop to buy this kind of product who destroy your skin color who destroy your own booty stop to buy this kind of products because this kind of products they just saying to you you're not enough your skin color is not enough your skin color is not good so this kind of propaganda obviously said to the Roman if it's not just even about the African Roman but again the African people was deeply 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 touched and I think this kind of propaganda obviously was built after the post colonialism to destroy the black people booty after destroying the, the, the black people mind on the slavery and blah 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 after the post-colonialism they just try to destroy the black people body and they try to destroy everyone obviously on saying to to us like your skin color is not fair you need to be more fair you like the white is the right color they send that kind of appetizing for money 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 years again that's why i'm saying it's not just the african bleaching syndrome problem it's all of the world problem but again it's touch it's touch it's touch like a deeply deeply the dark people are really touch the african people are really 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 touch because it was brainwash guys imagine like a brainwash for many years and even there the brainwash everywhere in the street appetizing magazine everywhere you only see a woman like you with the last skin so you you, you i think in the end you truly believe that you going to be much successful you're going to be like much beautiful your marry you know you, your your marriage is going to be much prosper and blah 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 of course some people believe that because that propaganda is like a deep and is it's not even for years it's for many many years it's for many century for many many century so imagine some african woman imagine some young people when they see their mom or their sister bleach themselves and maybe they feel much better after that they feel maybe they feel like they're much successful i don't really believe like you become much successful because your skin color is much lighter for myself uh, i think it's just a really bad propaganda obviously you know uh, to make people even more down and i think for some man obviously they kind of responsible about this kind of propaganda they participate a lot about this kind of propaganda because the man supposed to to raise the wife and raise the sister and raise you know uh, uh, the, the, the partner up and not saying like to your partner you're going to look much better if you beat your skin color or you okay now i'm going to be married with somebody else like with a little bit light skin just because of your ego i think it's ridiculous and the masculine side as well rise this kind of propaganda hub so it's a responsibility to help to each other it's a responsibility to to ourselves in the end seriously it's a responsibility to the government but they don't care it's a responsibility to the people to look at themselves and say like I don't want to promote this kind of thing. I don't want to promote them. I don't want to buy them products. I don't want to kill myself. I don't want to destroy myself because they're just telling me like I'm not enough. They're just telling me. They just dehumanize me. They just dehumanize me. They don't look at me as a human. They don't look at me as I am, obviously. So I think it's a responsibility to each other, seriously. And I think. Uh, everywhere around the world in africa in america latin america in india in india everywhere even in asia you guys roman you need to realize it doesn't matter your skin color but you need to realize also i think the, the true booty uh, the true booty deeply is inside and there is so many different booty and you know that is not a color a skin color meth 
more fair than the other one and I say in my previous video in the 1960s for the black people it was black is beautiful and now I think this 2021 the fashion is back to black so back to black and stop to bleach yourself stop to bleach your skin's color stop to destroy your true beauty and stop to think like being much lighter going to rise your heart going to give you profit prosperity going to give you like success is not true i think we know all need to look at herself and ask to yourself if should i really 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 want to look like that should i really really take that risk to destroy my own booty right now and mind be look like this thinking about that thank you so much guys i hope you really 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 enjoy that subject let me know in the comment how we can stop this kind of propaganda how the african people can stop to bleach their skin's color how they can do that let me that in the comment and uh, let me know if you really really enjoy that subject as well and let me know how has a woman has a dark woman has an african woman how we can what we can do to raise herself up and really trust to herself and accept themselves in the way we are thank you so much guys don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you really like it and be a part of this amazing family on rising yourself up thank you so much bye